I say it's right underneath it, but this is medication, so I don't want to overdo it. Best to take it slow. Did you feed him? Uh, yeah, I did feed him. So I'm not close. Sure to say. Yo, welcome back to OG Fish and Aquariums. So, something happened. Don't know what it is. It's the quarantine tank. Yeah, I know. I took out the live rock because I'm starting to medicate. And I have the sand here, which I'm going to eventually remove. But I think I've stressed the fish enough by taking out the rock. So, if you notice here, here's actually a good story. Check this out. See this guy here? That is a uh, cleaner ass that went missing in our 70 gallon that's six or seven months ago. Well, I was cleaning out the sump, and guess what I found? And look how big he is now. This guy's a monster. All right, so I have two cleaner rats because I have one in the 70 gallon. Anyway, so we got our Bangai Cardinal, we got our Crow Beauty, we got our Designer Clownfish, we got our Leopard Rass. Over here we got our Achilles Tang and we got a Royal Grandma in here. And this guy here has some weird looking, it's not spots or something, it's just like, I don't know if I can show you. It's shy. It's like a bruise on him, right? So, seeing how the 110 is coming next week, we didn't want to risk it. Because once again, we're upgrading from the 70.3 to a 110.4. 110 is 110 gallons for a tank. So, what we're going to do is copper safe. It's the first time using it, but I hear it's pretty, as long as I keep my levels between 1.0 and 2, I hear it's pretty good treatment. Hopefully, it's not too stressful. And this is going to help ick, velvet, and external parasites. Now, I don't think it's ick, but I don't know what it is. So, this guy is shy. He's not, of course, he's not going to come out now. So I went on and it is five milliliters for every four gallons of water. All right, so I've already put in to the tank the appropriate dosage using these guys. So now I'm going to test my levels and hopefully I'm going to be between anywhere between one and two. I'm going to leave it. Let that run for 30 days or until the spot clears up because we got to get ready for the 110. All right, so look, there you go. That is huge. So let's see here. Here, here you go. That's the replacement. And that's the replacement. See him? He was that size. Now he's this size. Millimeters of water. Now five drops. Two, three, four, and five. Alright. Let's cap it off. Now let's get a squirrel for five seconds. Yeah. Gotta wait 20 minutes. Let's come back and check the level. Alright, so it's been 20 minutes. Now let's go ahead and test this. I believe we're within range. Let's see if I can hold this and do this. So this is a color. Now that's 1.0. It's pretty close. I say it's right underneath it, but this is medication, so I don't want to overdo it. Best to take it slow. Did you feed him? Uh, yeah, I did feed him. So I'm not close, sure to exactly how to 
really should have bought a Hannah. But let's see here. So this looks close enough to 1.0 for me. Let's keep it here. It's definitely not 0.5. Don't want to go over. Don't want to over medicate. So that's it. We're going to run that for a week or so. And uh, let's see. There he go right there. Okay, I like that. He is. He's truly knows the cameras on him, don't you? Look at him. There you go. Come on up, buddy. Anyway. OG Reefs in the Aquarium. This is your boy, Sam. Medicating. Trying to save expensive fish. That's Now, that's the thing. When you spend the money, be prepared to do your due diligence and make sure they're healthy because that $325 fish can literally get sick and take out. And that guy and the other whoop, 200 $300 for that fish end up costing you a couple thousand easily. Copper safe. Remember, patience and consistency is the key to a successful reef. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button, come back to those. You're... OG Reef at Aquarium Samuel, and I'm out.